But you guys ever heard of uh, Mahler? Yes, yeah. I have. Yes, Mahler, Rags, and a couple other people. Uh, you're talking about the... The I EFAP. Sure EFAP, yes. EFAP, EFAP. Yep, those Yes, guys. I'm familiar with them, yes. So what about you, Perp? You heard of them? Yes, yeah, I have. I've seen you, them. In you, are you a fan? Channel, or? Thanks. No, I don't think so. I, I I've never clicked on anything, but I think he's done some panels with people I'm not a fan of, so probably not. Yeah, uh, including uh, well, yeah, he's he's been on like Nerd Rotic and stuff like that. So this uh, apparently, I guess a YouTuber I'd never heard of him called Brown Table. Oh, Brown uh, Brown Table. Yes, I follow him actually. He's a good YouTuber. Makes some good movie reviews. Well, uh, yeah, that's. I mean, I I assume so because uh, you know uh, if if these people are talking shit on him, he's probably a decent person. Um, and apparently he went to see Spider-Man No Way Home and he committed the greatest sin. He wore a Spider-Man shirt. <laughs> oh, and, yeah, yeah. Spider-Man outfit, right? He was and that to, like, cosplay a little bit. Yeah. And that warranted apparently this. No way, because as I walked out of the theater. Oh. Oh, that's so <laughs> sad. God, he thinks that's he's so super like, sad. Oh, he's got a swagger. He loves it. <laughs> You're so sad. It's this a, he's I can t I totally believe okay. you're making an anime. Okay, he's gonna be fine. It's okay. I'm sh he, oh, he's not gonna be fine. He he needs it, Rags. He needs it. He, he wears it. this to movies and oh my goodness gracious. He needs oh. it. So yeah, uh I don't know. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> what? Look, I you know I used to be uh you know much more into like the rock music scene and stuff. Like I mean I still am a fan of music and everything, but I was like used to be in bands and I used to hold this dumb arbitrary position that you should never wear the shirt of the band you're going to see live, mm. uh, which is just a douchebag position to hold. Like why? Why the fuck is that? You know, like it's it's just this forced arbitrary idea of what cool is like yeah, it's not don't, cool don't, to don't do that. wear the t-shirt of the band you're going to go see but go ahead and buy t-shirts and merchandise while you're at the concert yeah that makes right. perfect sense <laughs> yep yeah spend spend 50 dollars on a t-shirt but have, god damn you if you actually wear the shirt to the you know it's not like the band's gonna see you and go oh you loser you're wearing our shirt <laughs> like uh so no, uh they're, they're gonna be like cool that's a fan <laughs> right it's like i don't know man. Uh, um so no, it's just it's just pathetic. It's like why well, I gotta attack somebody for just like wearing something that like, they're passionate about. I mean, like, dude, I went to a No Way Home event Thursday night. It was an opening night event, uh, hosted by my friend William from the Sci Fi Center. It owns like a little uh, sci fi can uh, sci fi uh, shop and comic book shop and all that. Dude, there were so many cosplayers there. I, I dressed up as Doctor Strange. I'm not a loser for just as Doctor Strange to a to a movie show. I mean, come on. Yeah, I, I th th this kind of blows my mind because do th these people don't go to premieres or they don't go to movies because everyone does that. I, like, you well, I mean, that, they don't like, they don't even what? show their fucking faces on on camera. And of course, I'm not one to just judge people based on that because I used to not show my face and I would get people thinking that that's all they had to say to dismiss whatever I said. But like, it's just you, you know, you've got four guys who have these cartoonish fucking avatars of themselves, and not to just shit on cartoon avatars everybody's got one more or less you know what i mean so it's it's i'm not just saying that they saw it's the hypocrisy it's just like acting yeah. like they're somehow better or cooler than this guy who just loves spider-man so much and probably happened to have a spider-man costume and he's like hey this will be fun you know it's been a pandemic for fucking two years almost i don't get to get out of the house much and of course i'm just speculating on and his, he's on his mentality a video he's filming and he's filming a video, a video for content yeah yeah well, you know, maybe that's the issue because maybe that type of content does not live up to the standards of EFAP, who, when Jenny Nicholson made a half hour video called, well, I didn't like the Joker movie. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yes, yes, yes. Their response <laughs> was an almost 12 hour video about her. And damn. Yeah. yeah it was a 12 hour stream. I think they spent about six hours covering her video the rest of it was just super chats or something i don't remember i had to go back and look but i mean it's they, just... they get very upset though when you point out the screenshot they really don't like this meme circulating the internet they really oh don't i'm like sure it. well because you know because it makes them look <laughs> objectively stupid 
Um, you know, and, and I, I emphasize objectively because these are the fucking ass clowns who make four or five hour uh, reviews of movies and, and claim that they can judge them, criticize them objectively. So like, uh, and it just so happens. Okay. So by the way, I covered them in like November of 2019, shortly after I started my channel, I did a video on these guys uh, and, and how it's silly to think that you can objectively criticize a movie uh, I mean, of course, yeah, there's very, ways that very much into the word objective. Yes. Right. Uh, and, you know, they're very uh, there. There are ways you can uh, things you can objectively say about a movie. Uh, sure. But like the, it, the things that they tend to claim is objective are it's just the most subjective bullshit. Like they don't even understand the difference between the two concepts, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah. And, and like my, my response to uh, that is typically like if it was objective, wouldn't everyone agree with you? That's true. But nowadays, I don't even know that anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, but I mean, if, if we're sticking to the what objective means, like, if yeah, I, you know, yeah, I get it, yeah. we look at it, we look at the grass, that's objectively grass. We look at a car, that's objectively a car. Uh, but, yeah. and everybody's going to agree on that. And if you don't, you're probably maybe got something wrong with you or whatever. But when it comes to art, movies, uh, which is entirely based on subjective, well, not entirely, but for the most part, uh, uh, based on subjectivity, it's based on your experience. And and that video I made, a couple of these examples I used were <clears throat> like uh, Blade Runner, the original Blade Runner when it came out was uh, pretty much just everybody hated it. All the critics hated it. It was objectively bad because most people hated it, right? Um, but then now it's it's considered a classic. It it's you know spawned all kinds of aesthetic copies and and basically launched its own subgenre of science fiction. Uh, and, and an amazing sequel. That's one of my favorite movies ever. You can look, look throughout film history and find where a bunch of critics didn't like a thing. And then later on audiences appreciated it. Like some things can be ahead of their time. Some things can be, uh, you know, um, targeted at the wrong audience. Uh, and, and then, uh, you know, so like when we see a movie or art or, or music or anything, we're all basing it on our experiences. So yeah. like, the thing if they want to react to other people's reviews of stuff, that's fine. But approach it from an actual, uh, intellectually honest position to where you actually like don't Night attack dude. somebody for what they're wearing. You know, like yeah. that. That's where we get into a position where it's just like, what are we doing here? You know, like actually criticize his actual points or like make a comment on his points on his physical appearance. I mean, because again, you just look crappy and whatever. I mean. But this is also the same guy, Mahler, who allowed, who was on a stream with uh, Neurotic and uh, Az from Heel versus Babyface. So they were being openly transphobic, and he did not speak up whatsoever or say anything. If anything, he kind of like goaded them on a bit. And they have a guest, uh, Jay Exy, who I believe came out as trans. So it's like, you know, it's just some very questionable char character of these people, I would say. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and like I said in my, in my video back in the day, a couple of years ago, uh, this was before I even really looked into who they hung around with, um, uh, Mahler specifically. And like, I didn't, I didn't even know what their politics were. I just, I found it interesting back then that it's just so happened that all the stuff that they claim is objectively bad is also the same stuff that the anti SJWs are constantly railing against. So like the inclusion of Rose Tico in the last Jedi was an objectively bad thing. Like it's objectively bad for the movie. You know what I mean? Uh, things like that. Uh, where it's just, oh, that's convenient that, that you're spending four hours, uh, you know, objectively explaining why these same things that all these, uh, very obvious bigots hate is bad. Hmm. So yeah, that was before, and, uh, that I knew that they were ever on, um, and I don't know how many times or when they started, but yeah, they've been on, uh, nerd Roddick stream and shit like that. Geeks and gamers or whatever. So it's like, clearly these guys are in league and they have the same, fucking warped mentality and, and toxic uh, entitlement about fandom. And they just, uh, <clears throat> you know, pseudo intellectually find ways to justify their bullshit.